Welcome to preparing for and running SysPrep. The SysPrep utility prepares the image of Windows to be deployed on multiple machines with varying hardware. To contact us or to learn about other video series as well as our consulting services, please visit OpenSmallBusinessSolutions.com. First, we will disable the Windows Media Center Network Sharing Service. Then we will run winsat.exe to pre-populate the video settings. After that, we will copy the unattend.xml file to the sysprep folder. We will create a pre-sysprep snapshot, run the sysprep utility, and create a post-sysprep snapshot. So let's get started. We can go into the computer management utility. Go down to Services and Applications. Scroll down to the Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service. Stop the service. And disable the service. The reason we're doing this is because at times, this service interferes with the SysPrep utility. We can close that up. Go to a command prompt and type winsat.exe space dwm. This utility is going to create a baseline for the video settings. Sometimes if we don't run this utility beforehand, the system will hang on reboot as it tries to determine compatible video settings. Right now the resolution is set to 1024 by 768. We're going to go into the C drive, the Windows directory, Performance, WinSAT, and Data Store. The most recent file is called dwm.assessment. We want to rename that, and instead of in the parentheses having initial, we'd like to put prepop in the parentheses. Now we're going to copy the unattend.xml file into the sysprep folder. We can go to the backup drive, copy unattend.xml, go into the C drive, and to Windows, System32, sysprep, right click and paste. And we can close out of that. We can shut our machine down and take a snapshot. I'm going to call the snapshot pre -sys prep. And we can boot the machine back up. Go into Computer and see Windows, System32, and we're looking for a SysPrep folder. There we go. You can run the SysPrep directly from in here, but I find that it's better to run it from the command line because it gives you more control. So type in CMD, go to the directory, and we can type a DIR there to see what we have. We want to do sysprep.exe forward slash 
generalize forward slash quit. Sometimes if we tell the computer to shut down, it shuts down too quickly and the sysprep does not complete successfully. And then we want the slash unattend switch with a colon and the path to the unattend.xml files in quotation marks. Hit tab and it auto completes. And we want to just check off the generalize button and click OK. We'll close out of everything else and we'll just let that run. This process can take some time, up to 40 minutes at times. It's finished. We can shut down. Take a snapshot. We'll call the snapshot post sys prep and click OK. In this segment, we prepared for and ran the sysprep utility. We took a snapshot right before we ran the utility, as well as right after we ran the utility. In the next segment, we will test the sysprep image to make sure that the mini setup wizard completes automatically without asking us any questions, and also to make sure that the driver pack standalone driver script runs correctly and installs the drivers that we'd selected.